In this video, we're going to talk about how to use long division with polynomials. Now, I recommend that you watch this video from beginning to end because I'm going to start with some easy problems and then progressively it's going to get harder and harder. So let's begin. Let's say if we want to divide x squared plus 9x plus 20 by x plus 5. How can we do so? First, we need to set up the problem. x plus 5 is the divisor, so we're going to put that on the outside. And x squared plus 9x plus 20, that's the dividend, so we're going to put it on the inside. Now, what we're going to do in long division is we're going to divide, and then we're going to multiply, and then we're going to subtract. So first, we're going to divide x squared by x. And then that's going to give us x, which we can place it here if you want. Next, we're going to multiply. So we're going to take x and multiply it by x and 5. So x times x is x squared. And then x times 5, that's 5x. So now what we need to do is we need to subtract. So let's put a negative sign. And that negative sign needs to be distributed to x squared and 5x. So we're going to subtract x squared minus x squared. And so that's going to give us 0. And then 9x minus 5x, that's going to be 4x. And then 20 minus nothing, or 20 minus 0, we could just bring down a 20. Now, we need to divide again. So we're going to divide 4x by x, and that's going to give us positive 4. And then we're going to multiply 4 times x, which is 4x, and then 4 times 5, that's 20, and then subtract. So everything is going to cancel, and our remainder is going to be 0. The quotient is x plus 4, which is the answer. So going back to the original problem, x squared plus 9x plus 20 divided by x plus 5 is equal to x plus 4. This is the answer. Now let's go ahead and work on another example. Go ahead and try this one. 6x squared plus 7x minus 20, and we're going to divide that by 2x plus 5. So go ahead and try this problem. So let's begin. So we're going to put the 2x plus 5 on the outside. So that's going to be our divisor. And the dividend is 6x squared plus 7x minus 20. Now, don't forget, we need to divide and then multiply and then subtract. So let's start by division. I mean, let's start with division. 6x squared divided by 2x is 3x and then multiply. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 5 is 15x. And now we can subtract. So these two will cancel. That's going to give us 0. And then 7x minus 15x, that's going to be negative 8x. And then we can bring down the negative 20. Now let's go ahead and divide negative 8x by 2x. So that's going to give us negative 4. Don't forget to put the subtraction symbol. And now let's multiply. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. So once you distribute this negative sign, everything, all the signs inside will change. And so negative 8x plus 8x will cancel. And these two will cancel, giving us a remainder of 0. So the final answer, which I'm going to write here, is what we see here, the quotient. So 6x squared plus 7x minus 20, if we divide that by 2x plus 5, gives us 3x minus 4. Now, if you want to check the work, here's what you could do. Let me give an example. 
12 divided by 3 is 4. So if we take this number, 4, and multiply it by 3, we should get 12. So if we FOIL these two binomials, it should give us what we started with. So let's multiply 3x minus 4 by 2x plus 5. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. And then 3x times 5, that's 15x. And then we have negative 4 times 2x, which is negative 8x. And negative 4 times 5, that's negative 20. Now, we can combine like terms. So 15 minus 8 is 7. So notice that we get the original dividend that we started with. And so that's how you could check your work anytime you do long division. If you take your answer and multiply by the divisor, if you get the dividend, then you know that uh, you have, like you did it correctly. Now let's move on to the next example. This one is going to be a little different than the first two examples. Go ahead and try that problem. So we're going to put 2x squared minus 8 on the outside. And on the inside, we're going to have 6x to the fourth. Notice that there's no x cubed, but we need to write that here. So we're going to write plus 0x cubed and then minus 30x squared. Now there's no x term, so we're going to write plus 0x and then plus 24. So anytime you have a polynomial where you're missing some terms in between, make sure to put a 0 for the coefficient of those terms. In this case, 0x cubed and 0x. Now let's divide. 6x to the fourth divided by 2x squared. What is that? Now for those of you who may not be sure of what the answer is, you can write it out like this. So what you do is you divide 6 by 2, which is 3, and then x to the fourth divided by x squared. What you need to do here is subtract the exponents. 4 minus 2 is 2. So this is going to give us 3 x squared. Now let's multiply 3x squared by 2x squared. And so that's going to be 6x to the fourth. And then 3x squared times negative 8. So that's going to be negative 24x squared. So now let's subtract. If we distribute the negative sign, it's the same as just changing all the signs in the second line. So you can do that if you want to. So these will cancel. And then we'll have negative 30 plus 24. So that's going to give us negative 6x squared. And then we still have 0x and 24. So now we need to divide negative 6x squared by 2x squared. And so that's going to be just negative 3, which I'll put that here. And then let's multiply. Negative 3 times 2x squared, that's negative 6x squared. And then negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. And then we need to subtract, so we'll change the signs. So this will be positive, and this will become negative. So these will cancel, and we're going to get 0. So therefore, the answer is 3x squared minus 3. So this is the solution. Here's another one. Go ahead and divide 3x to the fifth power plus 4x cubed minus 5x plus 8. And let's divide it by x squared plus 3. Go ahead and try it. So I'm probably going to need a lot of space for this. So I'm going to start at the top. So this is going to be on the outside. And then we're going to have 3x to the fifth power. Don't forget to write 0x to the fourth power. And then it's 4x cubed. And then plus 0x squared. 
and then it's going to be minus 5x, and then plus 8. So like before, the first thing we need to do is divide. 3x to the fifth divided by x squared. If we subtract the exponents, 5 minus 2 will give us 3. So this is going to be 3x cubed. Now let's multiply. 3x cubed times x squared, that should give us what we started with, 3x to the fifth power. And 3x cubed times 3, that's going to be 9x cubed. Now, both of these terms are positive, but when we subtract, we're going to change the sign. So this is going to be negative and negative. So these will cancel. 4 minus 9, that's going to be negative 5, and then x cubed. And then we could rewrite everything else. Now let's divide negative 5x cubed by x squared. So that's going to be negative 5x. And then we can multiply negative 5x by x cubed. So that's negative 5x cubed. And then negative 5x times 3, which is negative 15x. So now let's change the sign which is equivalent to subtraction, and then we'll cancel those two terms. Now, negative 5 plus 15, that's going to give us positive 10x. And then we can bring down the 8. Now, we can't divide 10x by x squared because the exponent 1 is less than 2. So this is where we're going to stop. So what you see here is the remainder. Now, the answer is not just the quotient that you see here. You need to include the remainder. So the final answer is going to be 3x cubed minus 5x, and then plus the remainder, divided by the stuff that you tried to divide it by, which is x squared plus 3. So this is how you write the answer whenever you have a remainder. Let's try another problem. This one is going to be a lot longer than in the other ones. So this time we're going to divide a polynomial by a trinomial. And so the polynomial is going to be x to the fifth plus 2x to the fourth plus x cubed minus x squared minus 22x minus 15. I mean plus 15. So go ahead and take a minute and try that example. See if you can get the answer. So let's begin with division. x to the fifth divided by x squared. 5 minus 2 is 3. So that's going to be x cubed. Next, we're going to multiply x cubed by x squared. And that's going to give us x to the fifth. And then x cubed times 2x. That's going to be 2x to the fourth. Let me not put the signs yet. If it's positive, I'm just going to write 2x to the fourth. And then x cubed times negative 3, well, that's going to be negative 3x cubed. Now, because we need to subtract, let's change the sign. So this will be, it's going to change from positive to negative. Same is true for this one. And this is going to change from negative to positive. So now we could cancel. Let's cancel those two terms and those two. So now we can add x cubed plus 3x cubed. And so that's going to be 4x cubed. And then everything else, we're just going to bring it down. So now let's divide 4x cubed by x squared. So that's just going to be 4x. And then multiply. 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. And then 4x times 2x, that's positive 8x squared. And then 4x times negative 3, that's going to be negative 12. And to subtract, change the sign. So now, these will cancel. Negative x squared plus negative 8x squared, that's negative 9x squared. We can bring this down. 
and then 15 plus 12, that becomes 27. Now I need to go back a few steps because I made one tiny mistake. 4x times negative 3, that's negative 12x. So now we can subtract by changing the signs. So this will cancel. Negative x squared minus 8x squared, that's negative 9x squared. And then negative 22 plus 12, that's negative 10. And then we can bring this down. So now we can divide negative 9x squared by x squared, which is going to be negative 9, and then multiply. So that's going to give us negative 9x squared again. Negative 9 times 2x, that's negative 18x. And then negative 9 times negative 3, that's positive 27. Now let's change the signs. So these will cancel. And then negative 10 plus 18, that's 8. And 15 minus 27 is negative 12. So the answer is going to be x cubed plus 4x minus 9. And then plus the remainder, which is 8x minus 12, over what we try to divide it by. x squared plus 2x minus 3, this thing over here. And this is the answer with the remainder included. So that's how you can divide polynomials using long division. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other uh, math and science videos. I got videos on chemistry, physics, algebra, trig, pre-calc, calculus, and things like that. Thanks again for watching.